Hi everybody, how are you all? Welcome back. I know it's quite some time since I uploaded my last video. So for a perfect comeback, I thought of this topic about popular revision techniques which will help each and every medical student out there. I know a lot of us would have been there in that situation where we spend a lot of time reading something, trying to remember it. But at the end, we don't remember anything. We're like, shit bro, I don't, don't remember anything. And the reason for this is just because we haven't spent enough time revising it. And I think by this time, all the medical students out there will know the importance of revising and not revising. There is a popular saying which says that sweat more in practice to bleed less in war. And I think it is a, a perfect saying for the life of every medical student. The more and more you revise, the more and more better you become in the concepts and the better you remember and the better you become in the subject. And that is the essence of revision. And in this video, I'm talking about so many techniques which are very easy to follow and will definitely give results. So without any beating around the bush, I'll come straight to the topic. The first way is to read actively. Active learning happens when you ask yourselves a lot of questions and the questions are not only related to the subject, you also ask questions regarding how, when, why. And you can also ask yourself questions as to how am I going to apply this, when am I going to apply this and what is the use if I know this topic. Once you know the practical aspect about whatever you are studying, it is easier for you to remember it for a longer amount of time. You can also supplement this with the a Conway system of note taking. Here instead of you making notes simply, you just write down questionnaire. And when you have to revise, you're just not passively revising something. You're seeing all those questions and you're trying to remember how much you know in that regard. So when you're retrieving information from your brain, all the neuronal connections in your brain become stronger and stronger and you will master the subjects eventually. The second method is the Feynman's method. Feynman was a famous physicist in Princeton University and he says that when you learn something, you just go and explain it to someone who has zero knowledge about the subject. He basically says you go and explain it to a child and I know finding child to explain every time is not possible. So you just go and explain it to one of your friends who has not studied that concept yet. And because the friend is hearing to whatever you are saying for the first time, he'll have lots of doubts. He'll always be there trying to find loopholes in your knowledge base. So whatever you don't know, you go back and see, thus sealing all your loopholes and becoming stronger in the concepts. And when you try explaining to somebody in simpler words, you just master the subjects eventually. The third method is to space your revisions to become concrete in the subjects. Now, how to space revisions? You can space revisions just by revising on alternate days. Just let's take this instance. If you study something today, try revising it tomorrow, like the day one, day three, day five, etc. Two to three revisions will eventually help you on the longer run. Just imagine if you don't revise anything and open the book again to revise after a month. Okay. So when you see everything, it's like brand new. You'll have to start from the scratch. Instead, if you just glance through the pages here and there, that is the spaced revision, it just becomes better and you remember better. And the basis for this is the forgetting curve. As I told you about uh, in the earlier videos, there's something called as forgetting curve. Whatever you study just exponentially goes down like this and this is the forgetting curve. So on day one or three, when you interrupt it, that is when you revise, it just refills and goes like this. So the level with which it goes is little above the earlier level and eventually it will become almost a straight line and that is when all your short term memory has been converted to long term memory and you don't forget whatever you have studied. So try spacing your revisions to remember better and better. The fourth way is to implement or to put lots of your efforts in the topics which are harder and which are difficult and which take a lot of time. See, once you are very calm and you are studying just for the purpose of studying for your pleasure of learning, you try to do all the difficult things. So just before the exams, when you have very little time, you will not have to stress on those bigger chunks. You can just study all the easier chunks because you are already well versed in those big chunks. So always make sure that you have done all the bigger, most important things earlier and not keep it to the end. And see, learning bigger things means you remembering it is very hard, right? So always use acronyms, acrostics, memory palaces, etc. which will help you remember all those in the longer run. I've made so many other videos about popular study techniques and remembering techniques and I'll leave the link somewhere here. Click on it, go to that video and see it. And I know it will definitely help you remember things on the longer run. The next way is to use spider diagrams. Now, what are spider diagrams? Spider diagrams is just that you take a page 
and the center the body of the spider is the topic what you're studying and after that you put so many spirals and draw so many boxes the memory boxes and you write down about that topic and when you see that one single page you should be able to remember everything that is there in the sheet now let's take the example of a chapter like cardiovascular system or let's take physiology now imagine you have studied cardiovascular system write cardiovascular system in the center put all the spider images and write down about all the subtopics or the other chapters or units that are there in that main chapter and after that write subheadings regarding what is there in each of those chapter and when you see that one page you know what is there in the entire chapter it's the road map to the entire chapter now when you see the subheadings because you don't know nothing else is not uh, written in that sheet you try to remember what you studied on that regard so eventually at the end you know the entire chapter that is why spider diagrams will come to your rescue and before exam when you have very less time to revise see before medical exams you hardly have one day to learn or revise whatever is left right and it is very little amount of time so if you have something like spider diagrams or your own notes done you just take the spider diagram and try to read everything so you have the glance of the entire chapter with just one page and that idea of finishing that entire chapter in just one page is amazing right so go do your spider diagrams the next way is retrograde learning see retrograde learning is something that is helpful in subjects like biochem and physiology and pharma also medicine also to that matter what you do is after you study from a to z go from z to a so what is this how am i going to do this now imagine you take biochemistry and you read some cycle after you finish reading that cycle come from the end that is after you go from clockwise direction come from the anti clockwise direction so imagine you are there in the product and you are like what was there what was there earlier so when you think like this it builds up and makes your neuronal connection stronger so that you can remember for longer amount of time you can also use this in subjects like path when you're studying the pathogenesis of something after you go to the final disease you come back what happened to the body what happened to the organ what happened at the cellular level the genetic level so this way when you study something to and fro it helps you remember things better it helps you in subjects like pharma also when you have to read the uh, you know uh, how uh, the mechanism of action of drug same it have it i mean it basically applies anywhere it's like the kids learning tables if they have to learn it better they have to 1 to 10 and 10 to 1 right something like that you can do and remember things better now coming to the last way the last way is speak it hear it say it now what is this it is just that instead of you always trying to read from book go to all the unconventional ways of studying which are even more better like visual uh, aids like videos your hair or uh, something you where you hear to etc if you're not at all interested to read again and again something some subjects like psm just make you know record your voice when you're reading aloud and later when you have to read it again and you are not interested to open that book just put on your airpods and listen to whatever you have uh, studied so that uh, you know your own voice will stay for longer time and help you remember you whatever you are doing just put on your airpods and listen to your voice or listen to someone who is talking or someone who has given lecture on that subject and for so many dry subjects especially this technique gives you amazing results Okay, this is pretty much all the techniques that are really helpful. I've tried most of these, and I really feel that all these are very, very, very helpful personally. And I think it will help you also if you try to follow it very seriously. And I'll be coming up with more and more videos regarding study techniques and so many vlogs, etc., and things related to medical life uh, in the hence forthcoming sessions. I think you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already, and share my videos with your friends and family who like content like this. And yeah, I'll be coming up with more and more videos. And if you just uh, check the playlist, you'll find so many other videos which are very very helpful and which coincide or which add on to this video of revision techniques. Stay tuned to the channel. Until next time, bye bye.